in the name of God Almighty. Hello, everybody. How are you? I hope you quite well. In today's session, God willing, we're going to talk about doubling the last consonant. Some phonics rules are three. We have to keep in mind that in the English language, phonics rules are open break. We will frequently come across exceptions to the rule. So, it's better to call these rules generalizations rather than rules. The English language is full of many odd balls, words that break the rule and don't follow that general pattern. For a reminder, short vowel sound. Short vowel sound means that the vowel doesn't say its name like at and long vowel sound means that the vowel says its name here at but eight short vowel sound a long vowel sound. Mad, made. Short A sound, long A sound. Hit, beat. Short B sound and long E sound. Hid, hide, short I sound and long I sound. Not or not, fear not in a British English. Note, so here, short O sound and long O sound. Cut, cute, for a little U we have to long the well sounds. Cute, you, and so. Also. What is the rule for doubling the last of course? When adding E, B, I, N, G, or Y, etc., to a word, we double the consonant if the vowel before that consonant is short, which means that the vowel doesn't say its name. For example, the examples of that are stop here, short, or someone. So, Stop became stopped, double B. Here, we doubled the last consonant because it's preceded by a short vowel sound. Similarly, win, winning. But we don't double the consonant when the vowel is long. Long vowel sound means that the vowel says its name. For example, A, E, I, O, U, and O. Here, all the long vowel of the vowel letters. One more time. A, E, I, O, U, and O. 
we don't double the consonant when the vowel is long. Examples of that are time, longer I, so, so time without doubling in. Tune or tune, tuner or tuner. What really matters is the fact that we didn't double it. Here are some more examples. Short vowel and long vowel. Planner, planer. Dinner, diner. Hopping, hoping. Supper, super. Tinny. Tiny, canning, caning, whipped, white. Here, short A, so we double in. Here, long A, we didn't double the good that consonant, the last consonant, which is in. Similarly for in, it's preceded by short vowel, so we doubled in. Here, in is preceded by long vowel, so we didn't double in. Similarly for B, B is preceded by short O, so when we added I in the G, we doubled B. But here, B is preceded by long vowel. So when we added I in the G, we didn't double P. For you, here, P is preceded by short U, which is A. So when we added ER, we doubled P. But here, P is preceded by long sewing, long vowel sewing, which is Ooh. So when we added B, we didn't double P. N is preceded by short I sewing. So when we added I, we doubled in. But here, N is preceded by long I sewing, which is I. So when we added Y, we didn't double in. In here is preceded by short A. So when we added I in the G, we doubled in. But here M is preceded by A, and A is a long vowel because it says S in A. So when we added I in the G, we didn't double in. Here P is preceded by short vowel, which is short I. So when we added ED, we doubled P and wept. Here P is preceded by long I, long vowel. So we didn't double P. Note, there are many exceptions to this rule. Some exceptions, color, here double L, double L, but they are preceded by long O, open long O, or long open O. Co, it's a long vowel. Polling, stalling, polling. Also, occasionally, there may be a single consonant after a short vowel sign. Some examples, elephant and elbow and soup. Many thanks for listening and watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Till we meet again, I wish you all the best. May God speak to you. Goodbye.